Okay. So we've got a herd of cows and the daily production is assumed to be normally distributed. Okay, so the normal distribution. Uh, this is uh, how we indicate that. X is a random variable. We have two parameters. The mean, which is given by that Greek letter called mu, and the standard deviation given by this Greek letter called sigma. Okay, so the, the probability is equal to the area under the curve. And if you know some calculus that um, should give you the idea of integration. Okay, more likely you will not be using integration here because our this is our function actually. This is the normal distribution. And it is hard to integrate. Um, and we have tables that give us these values. We have calculators that give us these values. So I would suspect that you're not going to be expected to integrate this. Okay. So anyway, let's take a look. We have, um, uh, I'm using Desmos, by the way. Okay. This is a great tool. I really recommend you give it a try. Um, here's the input. When you go to Desmos, if you input these things, it will produce this. So if you go there and play around a little bit, um, try to put these uh, equations in and uh, see if you can produce this. Um, okay. One thing here is that the standard deviation is given by the letter A. The mean is given by the letter B instead of mu and sigma. All right. So anyway, we put those in and voila. Here's the integral. You get the answer. Okay. Now, if you have a calculator that can do the normal distribution, um, you would put in uh, this for the mean, this for the standard deviation, and these for your endpoints. And it will just give you the probability. All right. Now I want to just show you, um, sometimes you have to convert your distribution into the standard normal. Okay. So let's take a look at the standard normal. Okay. This is the standard normal distribution. The mean is at zero. Okay. That's the midpoint. Everything to the right of zero, that's 50%. To the left of zero, 50%. It's the commonly known bell curve. Okay. Uh, this is standard normal with mean zero, standard deviation one. Okay. Now, if we have our distribution here, okay, we can convert it into a standard normal by doing this, we subtract the mean and divide by this by the standard deviation. It used to be that all these values for these integrals, um, the, the probability, in other words, were in a table, a paper table, and so you couldn't have a paper table for every single possible distribution, right? Um, and so there was one table for the standard normal and if your distribution wasn't standard then you would have to convert it okay so all you do okay so we're looking for this is what we're looking for let's remember now what we're looking for um we're looking for this probability right probability that x is between 34.7 and 64. all right so if we need to do the standard deviation a standard normal distribution conversion, then it's uh, just uh, calculating this here. We subtract the mean, divide by the standard deviation. Okay. And then you'll get these numbers. Um, and if you were looking it up on a table, you might have to go through some other things, but that is basically what you need. Okay, I think you will probably have a calculator um, 
that you can just input um, these things. Either way, it's useful to do both. See if you can, can convert it to the standard normal distribution. Okay, see if you can get the same answer. There's the probability. It's the area. Okay, under the curve indicated there in the purple. Okay, and this is 0 0.5027. It's the same, same probability. So what I recommend here is, first of all, if your calculator can do this, is learning how to use your calculator. But second of all, probably more importantly, is to get a feel for what this means. What does the curve look like? Okay, what does the area look like? If I look at this problem, we could get some ideas and we could say, okay, what's the probability that's between 37.9 and 64? Well, 37.9 is almost the mean, right? So what's, and 64 is pretty high up. If we look at the curve here, here's 64. It's almost at the end. There's almost nothing here above 64. So we would expect this to be around 50%, a little bit more. And this confirms that. Okay. Um, I noticed that you have a lot of questions on uh, normal distribution. They're all quite similar. Um, rather than answer all these things for you, what I would recommend is um, figure out how your calculator works. If it does the normal distribution, go to Desmos. It's a great tool. See if you can input these things and reproduce what I've got here. And then, then you're you're on your way, I think. Okay. Hope that was helpful.